Around town, catching up after class. Hey, how did your physics exam go? Not bad, thanks. I'm just glad it's over. How about you? How'd your presentation go? Oh, it went really well. Thanks for helping me with it. No problem. So, do you feel like studying tomorrow for our math exam? Yeah, sure. Come over around ten o'clock after breakfast. All right. I'll bring my notes. Around town, at the post office. What can I do for you today? I need to mail this package to New York, please. Okay. Let's see how much it weighs. It's about five pounds. If you send it express, it will get there tomorrow. Or you can send it priority, and it will get there by Saturday. Saturday is fine. How much will that be? Eleven thirty-five. Do you need anything else? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need a book of stamps too. Okay, your total comes to twenty dollars and thirty-five cents. Around town. Running errands. Hi there. How can I help you? Well, I'm in town visiting for a few days, and I need to get some things done while I'm here. Sure. What do you need? I need to get my hair cut. I also need to have my new pants hemmed. Okay, here's a map of the city. There's a good hair salon here, which is just a block away, and there's a tailor right here. Is there anything else? Yes, I'll need to have my car serviced before my long drive home. <laughs> no problem. There's a good mechanic a few blocks away. Around town. At the supermarket. Hey, Julia, look at those desserts. How about baking some cookies today? Hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. While we're here, let's pick up the ingredients. Okay. What do we need? The recipe calls for flour, sugar, and butter. Oh, and we also need eggs and chocolate chips. Why don't you get the dairy ingredients? You'll find those in the refrigerated section in the back of the store. I'll get the dry ingredients. They're in aisle ten. Great. Let's meet at the checkout. Okay. See you there. Around town, calling for help. Hey, that car just ran a red light and hit that truck. Is anyone hurt? I don't know. Let's call nine one one. Hello, I'd like to report a car accident near the post office on Charles Street. It looks like a man is hurt. Yes, it just happened. Okay, thanks. Bye. What did they say? They're going to send an ambulance and a police car right away. Good, they're here. I hope the man is okay. I know. You have to be so careful when you're driving. Around town, asking directions. Excuse me, could you tell me where the library is? Yes, it's that way. You go three blocks to Washington Street, then turn right. It's on the corner, across from the bank. Thanks. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know how you feel. We moved here a year ago, and I still don't know where everything is. Around town, at the doctor's office. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have a bad cough and a sore throat. I also have a headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About three days now, and I'm really tired too. Hmm. Sounds like you've got the flu. Take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of rest. Make sure you drink lots of fluids. Call me if you're still sick next week. Okay, thanks. Around town, ordering a meal. Hello, I'll be your waiter today. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes, I'll have iced tea, please. And I'll have lemonade. Okay, are you ready to order, or do you need a few minutes? I think we're ready. I'll have the tomato soup to start, and the roast beef with mashed potatoes and peas. How do you want the beef? Rare, 
medium, or well done. Well done, please. And I'll just have the fish with potatoes and a salad. Introductions and small talk. Weather report. It's freezing outside. What happened to the weather report? I thought this cold front was supposed to pass. Yeah, I thought so too. That's what I read online this morning. I guess the wind chill is really driving down the temperature. Can we go inside? I feel like my toes are starting to go numb. Introductions and small talk. Coincidences. Well, hello there, Julia. Long time no see. Meg, hi. What a coincidence! I haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing here? I just got a new job in the city, so I'm shopping for some clothes. Hey, what do you think of this shirt? Hmm. Well, you know how much I love blue. See, I've got the same shirt. You always did have good taste. What a small world! Introductions and small talk. A telephone call. Hello. Hi, Stephanie. How are things at the office? Hi, Luke. How are you? Can you please stop and pick up extra paper for the computer printer? What did you say? Can you repeat that, please? Did you say pick up ink for the printer? Sorry, the phone is cutting out. Can you hear me now? No, I need more computer paper. Listen, I'll text you exactly what I need. Thanks, Luke. Talk to you later. Thanks, Stephanie. Sorry, my phone has really bad reception here. Introductions and small talk. A telephone call. Hi, Alice. It's John. How are you? Oh, hi, John. I was just thinking about you. Huh, that's nice. I was wondering if you'd like to go to a movie tonight. Sure, I'd love to. What's playing? I was thinking about that new comedy, Lights Out. What do you think? Sounds great. Okay, I'll pick you up around seven thirty. The movie starts at eight. See you then. Bye. Introductions and small talk. What time is it? What time is it? We're going to be late. It's a quarter after seven. We're on time. Don't panic. But I thought we had to be at the restaurant by seven thirty for the surprise party. We'll never make it there with all this evening traffic. Sure, we will. Rush hour is almost over. Anyway, the party starts at eight. But I do need help with directions. Can you call the restaurant and ask them where we park our car? Introductions and small talk. Informal introductions. Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? That's her friend Mary. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? No, I wasn't at Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend Jim. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure. Let's go get one. Introductions and small talk. Informal introductions. How's it going? Fine, thanks. And you? Just fine. Where are you off to? To the library. I've got a history exam next week and need to start studying. Ugh. Oh no. Well, I'll see you later then. Good luck. Thanks. See you later. Introductions and small talk. Formal greetings. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great, thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your question.
What have you been doing this week? I came here to the park yesterday afternoon, and we slept here last night in that tent. It's like the kind they used in the Revolutionary War, but a little bit bigger, because people then were shorter than they are now. What do you do while you're here? We pretty much cook over the fire. I've been playing the drums, hauling wood, and throwing a tomahawk. What's a tomahawk? It's kind of like an axe. It's got only one sharp edge. You try to get it to hit a target. Are you good at that? Oh yeah. What kind of a shirt are you wearing? Ah,、uh, it's a shirt they would have worn in the 18th century. How about your shoes? Your socks? Yeah, everything I'm wearing is like clothes they wore in the 1700s. How long have you been doing reenactments? Pretty much since I was born, because my parents are reenactors. We go at least once a month, pretty much all over the state of North Carolina. What did you do the rest of the week? School. Monday we had marching band practice. I play percussion, the tenor and drum. Tell us about marching band. There are ninety-one of us in the band. While we march, we play music and do different formations and stuff. We have formations like boxes and figure eights. We play in competitions and at football games. We've won forty-one trophies in competitions. Tell me about your dog over there. Oh, he's a German Shepherd. He's two or three years old. We found him while we were at a reenactment. He was hungry and didn't have a home, so we took him home with us. When we got him, he weighed sixty pounds, and now he weighs one hundred and twenty-five pounds. So he was pretty hungry and thin when we found him. When I wait for the school bus, he goes to the end of the road and waits with me until I actually get on the bus before he goes back to the house. He comes out to the end of the road right about the time school gets out and waits for me to get off the bus. Then he walks home with me. Is there anything you'd like to say to kids in other countries? Hmm. I guess hi. What have you been doing this week? Well, I go to San Jose State. Mondays and Wednesdays, I get up and work out, and I start my classes. In between classes, I have an hour and a half break, so I usually go to the library and read, browse the internet, do homework, write essays. Anything I have to do. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I usually get up and go to school for an 8:30 class, and then, since the class is anatomy, I go to the library and study, study, study. Then I have a lecture. Then I go to lunch. Something fast because I have another class afterwards. Today is Friday. What are you doing? Fridays I have off, so I'm out here enjoying the weather. It's a day to do other things than reading and homework. I'm here with my mom and my two little nieces and my little cousin. We took them to story time at the library, and then we came here. How old are they? They are four, two, and nine months. What do you do on the weekends? Saturday morning, I go out for a run, see friends, or go to a family get together. Sunday, I study. What are you studying? Nursing. Why did you decide to become a nurse? When I was fifteen. And out of money had quadruplets, and seeing her through the pregnancy and going to the hospital when she was there, and helping her with four kids, I decided I wanted to become a nurse. Before that, I wanted to be a teacher. It changed my perspective. How many people are in your family? My mother's family had eight sisters and two brothers, but I'm her only child. There are a lot of cousins and a whole lot of little girls. We usually try to spend time together and do a lot of things together. Family bonding time, you could say. When I'm a nurse, I want to specialize with kids. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Well, make sure to read and get involved in things so you can pursue a career in something that you're really going to like. What have you been doing this week? After school today, we came to the park. Two of us are playing baseball, and two of us walked around making videos. Why are you making videos? Because it's fun, something to kill time. We put them on YouTube. What are you doing in school this week? CST preparation. That's California standardized testing. Everyone in second through eleventh grade takes the test. It helps decide what classes you get to take next year. The preparation helps us get ready for the test. What do you do on weekends? Go to the mall. Buy clothes. I play video games. I go on the computer a little. Sometimes I hang with my brother, or I hang out with my friends. 
How do you get money to buy clothes? From mom. I have a job painting. I paint houses on weekends with my uncles, and when I get money, I use it to buy clothes. I work at East Oakland Regional Park. We go and paint benches, pull up weeds, make the park cleaner. I get money, and then I buy clothes or food. I'm a junk food junkie. Or I might take these friends to the movies. Is there anything you want to say to kids in other countries? Stay safe. Have as much fun as possible. Learn to turf. It's a kind of dance. Hmm. Don't go to the bad stuff like drugs or alcohol or war. Admire the little things. What have you been doing this week? I've gone to school every day this week, and we had exams next week, so we have been studying a lot. I play two sports, and I've gone to basketball practice and volleyball practice, and we had a basketball game that we just won. Did you have to travel to get to the game? We travel about thirty minutes to play the other team. Does playing two sports take time? A lot. I usually have two hours of basketball practice every day and two and a half hours of volleyball practice twice a week. What are you studying? I'm in pre-calculus and I take Spanish three and physics. I also take humanities, which is like history and English combined. Is that all of your classes? Yes, ma'am. What will you do this weekend? Study for my exams. That's about all I have time to do. How is your family? Well, my brother is sick. He has a cough and can't sleep well, but we're really okay. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? I hope you have a great year. Do well and study hard. What have you been doing this week? Well, in school, we're having a lot of new math and stuff, and we took a couple of tests this week also. What's happening outside of school? Baseball's about to start, and I'm really ready for that. I'm in a pony league, and it's recreational. It's not a very big league. What you do is your parents sign you up and pay a little money for you to play, and it doesn't cost very much. Basketball season just ended, and I was playing that. There are a lot of other teams in that league, and my birthday is in four days, and I'll be fourteen. How will you celebrate? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably go play laser tag or something. I think your parents are divorced. Is that right? Yeah, I live with my mom normally, and every Thursday I go to my dad's for the evening from six to nine. Every other weekend, I go to my dad's house and stay from Friday to Sunday, and then I go back to my mom's. What are you looking forward to? Baseball, and I'm kind of excited to go into high school this fall. I'm probably going to take a class called Scientific Visualization and Graphics. It's really cool. You can learn how to make video games and stuff. Will you do anything special this summer? Probably go on a couple of camping trips with my family, my mom's family, most of the time. We like camping a lot. At the end of the school year, we have a camping trip, where there is a 13-mile trail down the mountain. We camp for like three days and then go hike down the trail. It's pretty cool. Do you know what you'd like to do after high school? Not really. I have a faint idea. I'd like to go into science or engineering. We did a career finder thing on the computer at school, and it suggested science or engineering for me. The first four careers were all kinds of engineering. The fourth was nuclear engineering. Right, as if I'm going to handle nuclear bombs or something. Is there anything you'd like to say to kids in other countries? Just hi, I guess. What have you been doing this week? Basically, I go to school. After I go to school, I might hang out, socialize with my friends at Burger King or McDonald's. First, I study, and then I hang out with my friends and socialize. On weekends, I might go to the movies, go to a party, get my hair did, or go to the nail shop. What did you do last weekend? I went to a party and I watched movies on TV every day. What are you doing in school this week? I'm studying biology. We're studying the ecosystem. I don't like biology too much. Actually, I hate it. It's my least favorite class. What classes do you like? I like dance. That's my favorite subject. And math. I have to do a lot of research in dance. Dance sounds unusual. Is it a regular subject? Dance is like any other subject. It's like physical education. We study all kinds of dance: ballet, modern, jazz, hip hop. We do it and we study about it. I have to do my research on it every day. My teacher gives us a famous dancer like Alvin Ailey. He's dead now, but he founded a famous dance company. I get on the computer and do research on him and his dance company. We have questions like, what kind of positioning do they use? What kind of energy do they use? Do you like living in San Francisco? Actually, I used to live in San Francisco, but I moved to Oakland a year ago. 
San Francisco is a great city, but it's very large. You have to know your way. In Oakland, well, you have to avoid some parts of Oakland, but there is less drama in Oakland. You feel free in Oakland. Is there anything you want to say to kids in other countries? Do you want to visit San Francisco? You should think about it because it's a good city. What have you been doing this week? I've been sort of preparing for finals, finishing up work, trying to balance the things I need to do with the things I should do. I need to do things like studying for a test now or getting in assignments that are past due. And I should do things like exercising or catching up on things that will help me up ahead on tests in the future. I've been trying to work on a big English assignment and prepare for finals. I stayed up all night trying to finish, as well as preparing for a performance on the clarinet. Have you been doing anything else? I've been trying to get a basic draft of a book I want to write. I feel like the essays you write at school are constricting. This is writing I enjoy doing. It helps me relax and wind down. What do you want to do after high school? After high school, I want to go to a university and get a doctorate in some kind of science. Right now, I'm aiming for entomology, the study of insects, especially ants. That's my passion. I'm really interested in the complex societies they form and how they work together. If you want to get me talking, ask me about ants. They have really complex and diverse societies. They're the most complex of all animal societies. It's ants, not elephants or primates or monkeys, that are the closest to human societies. I know that when you were small, you had serious health problems. Your parents had to take you to the hospital really fast many times. Is that still true? I still have health issues. I have allergy-induced asthma. That means I have allergies that sometimes make it very difficult to breathe. It limits me from doing activities or going places sometimes. It's just a part of my life. I live with it. Are you doing anything for Martin Luther King Day? I'm probably going to study with a friend because I have finals right away. We had a powerful assembly program at school. The African American Student Community Group gave a serious eye-opener on how bad it was at that time period. A lot of people were disturbed by it. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Hmm. In the end, we're all human. It's good to have an identity and celebrate your history, but in the end, we're all human. What have you been doing this week? Let me think. I go to school. I had soccer practice only once a week because it's winter. I went to the train Sabine Orchestra. They come to town every year. They're really good. What kind of music do they do? It's like rock, but it's like Christmas too, sort of. It's a really good show. They've got lasers and pyrotechnics. I also went to church and choir practice. I do the soundboard most of the time. What are you studying in school? I'm taking pre-calculus, AP European history, band, English, French, chemistry, and environmental science. What instrument do you play in band? I play the bassoon for a concert band. For marching band, I play the tuba. They're completely different instruments. You can't march with a bassoon. What do you study in environmental science? So far, we've studied a lot about weather and weather patterns. We also learned about earthquakes and tornadoes and that sort of stuff. What will you do after high school? I plan to go to college. I'm not sure what I'll go for yet. Probably something in science because I enjoy science. Is there anything that you'd like to say to kids in other countries? Um. I think that a lot of the things that the rest of the world thinks about America that they get in movies or on TV, from reality TV shows and things like that, don't really portray American life. We're probably not that different from you. What have you been doing this week? We haven't been doing a lot at school because it is right before the break, so we don't do a lot. They try to squish in a lot of tests during the week before we get out, so we can start a new unit after the break. So I had a math test and a science test. In orchestra, we've been learning new notes, how to read them, and how to do them on the instrument. What instrument do you play? I play the viola. Is there anything else happening? I have a guitar lesson this afternoon, and Christmas is coming very soon. On Christmas, most of my friends wake up in the morning and open presents, but my family doesn't traditionally celebrate Christmas. We don't have any Vietnamese holidays in this part of the year, so we just celebrate Christmas for the fun of it. We don't open presents in the morning. 
We prepare food all day, and then my family and friends come over, and we open presents at night and eat. We usually make Vietnamese food and sometimes chicken wings too. Have you been buying and making presents? I usually make cards or homemade gifts, but this year I haven't had time. I had this test in language arts a couple weeks ago and I failed it. I got really upset and I asked the teacher if I could have a retake. At first she said no and I started crying because I knew my mom would get really upset. So the teacher let me take a retake. So I've been studying. I got 100 on a retake. <laughs> What do you study in language arts? We learn parts of speech, grammar, and do presentations in class. Recently, we made a parody of The Night Before Christmas and we presented it today. Anything else? My birthday's tomorrow, so I'm having friends over. We're going to have a sleepover. We'll go ice skating, and then we'll go rent movies, and we'll go back home and watch them. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, let me think. You should work hard for your future because it'll pay off. What have you been doing this week? Well, exam time is coming up and I've been trying to study hard for them, taking notes and all. It's a very stressful time for me. How do you prepare for the exams? Well, the teachers give us notes and we write them down and study them and then take the exams. But most of us barely have any time to study, especially the basketball team. They have a lot of games next week. I'm actually in the church choir. I have to do all my exam work and practice for the choir. And we have all this stuff coming up for Christmas. Tell me about singing in the choir. We usually have practice once or twice a week. We sing, we get to meet each other, and we all have fun together. And we all sing together at church. The choir sings every Sunday. My dad sings every Sunday, and I do too. But we have extra practices for Christmas music. On Ordinary Sunday, we do one to three songs. And Christmas, we do, I don't know, like 10 songs? And that's why we have extra practices for Christmas music. Tell me what you did this weekend. This weekend, I got to go to my grandmother's house, which was a very big treat for me. I love to help her out, and I did work in her yard. I got paid for it, but I'd work without pay any time she wants me to, because I really love her. Tell me about her. My grandmother is very sweet. She helps a lot of people. She's a Methodist, so she goes to the Methodist church every Sunday. She helps anyone who is in need. She has two sweet dogs, Belle and Ella. One is a golden lab, and the other is a mixture. She has the best cooking ever. Her cake is wonderful. Her pies are fantastic. If the only thing I ever had to eat for the rest of my life was her cooking, I would be happy. She makes the best grilled cheese ever. How is your family? My family's been okay. I mean, a little argument here and there, but that's okay. It's a very happy time we have. We're kind of last minute people, so we set up everything last minute and then get ready for Christmas. Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Happy holidays. What have you been doing this week? Well, um, I've been going to Glee practice to perform for a winter concert. I've been doing a lot of homework, and I'm going to piano practice later today. Tell me about Glee. It's this group of people who sing and dance the songs for the season, or whatever we like. Songs from the 50s, back in the past, or modern music. We have a teacher who leads us. It's an after-school activity. The regular class in school is chorus. Glee is an additional activity. What classes are you taking? Um, well, I take Algebra 1 and Advanced Language Arts and Science and Social Studies, Chorus, Technology, and PE. What are you doing in your piano lessons? Well, right now, I'm just a beginner, so I'm studying how to play. Why did you decide to study piano? I see how amazing the pianists are and how they're really good at playing these amazing pieces. So I decided to learn how to do that. Did you celebrate Thanksgiving this past week? My sister and I celebrate Thanksgiving with our family that came around the state. Some of our cousins are in college and they came. We ate turkey, of course, and corn, mashed potatoes, gravy, and these special Vietnamese chips. They're hard to describe, though. What are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to my temple and practice dancing for Vietnamese New Year. It's in February. I go to, like, a Buddhist temple. We have lots of different celebrations. 
How many people in your family can speak Vietnamese? Um, basically all of us. The kids are kind of losing the Vietnamese culture, so we're trying to keep it up and keep up with our Vietnamese. Do you know what you want to do when you're an adult? I really don't know. I'm still trying to decide, but I want to do something that helps other people. Maybe a nurse, but I'm not sure. Is there anything that you'd like to say to kids in other countries? Um, well, keep learning and have a good education so you can have a good future in life. What have you been doing this week? Well, this week my cousins came down from New York and we celebrated Thanksgiving at my house with the other side of the family that is in Charlotte. We had a turkey and everybody brought something like a dessert and we all just sat at the table and had fun and afterward we played games. Are there any other foods that are Thanksgiving traditions for your family besides the turkey? We always have my grandmother's broccoli and cheese casserole, which sounds gross, but it's really delicious. We had mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes. My mom made her amazing orange cranberry relish. And this year we also had ham, which was different. We also had pecan pie and pumpkin cheesecake. What kind of games did you play? Well, this year we played Wii basketball and tennis. Did you go shopping on Friday? We went to Charlotte because it's my aunt's birthday, so we hung out with them for a while and watched the football game between Auburn and Alabama. My mom went to a bookstore for a while, but we didn't do any other shopping. What have you been doing today? Well, my dad and I went for a run together, and then we decided to stop and take a break here to get something to drink. It's a little cold outside. How far do you run? Well, it'll be five miles after we run back home from here. Did you do anything else this week? Well, I saw the new Harry Potter movie, which was very good with a lot of my friends. Tonight, I'll babysit my little brother and my sister so my parents can go see the Harry Potter movie together. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, well, I don't know if we're that different or not, but it doesn't seem like we are. I would like to say, um, well, good luck and have a good time with your life. What have you been doing this week? Um, we're on a school field trip. It's a four-day trip across our state and back. Where have you gone? Um, we went to UNC and learned about the basketball history and their star basketball players. Then we went to Somerset Plantation and we learned about how they treated the slaves and how they made candles and wrote. And we learned about the owners too. Then we went to the Blackbeard Museum and we learned about Blackbeard, how he became a pirate and how he died and what his battle style was. Then we learned about the Wright Brothers history. That's today. Before we came on to the trip, we built replicas of their gliders at school. We researched what they flew and how they flew and what inspired them. Are you doing anything just for fun or are all your activities educational? Um, tonight we'll have a dance and last night we went bowling. Do you have any special interests? I like sports. I like basketball and I'm on the school baseball team. What are your plans for the future after you finish school? Um, I want to be a zoologist. I want to study animals and I might be like my older sister and be a photographer and take pictures of animals too. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, you guys are going to get there. Just keep working hard. What have you been doing this week? I've been going to school and playing outside with friends mostly. What are you doing in school? We just finished our end of grade tests. School ends in two weeks. What do you play when you play with friends? I play football, soccer, basketball with the guys in the neighborhood. We play at Evan's house. He has a basketball hoop in his yard. And I see a fishing pole in your hands. Yeah, I like to go to the pond and fish. I normally go about once a week. I usually catch a few. Today I hooked five, but they all got off. But I did catch two. It really keeps you going. It makes you think, I really want to catch that fish. My dad loves the fish, so he taught me. I don't think you've always lived in this neighborhood. Is that right? Yeah, we lived in Switzerland for two years. I liked it, but I like it here more. There's more stuff to do here, more entertainment. But it was fun in Switzerland. Did you learn a new language in Switzerland? I already knew Swiss German because my mom was from Switzerland. I learned it when I was three or four. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, hello from America. What have you been doing this week? Well, this week I've been focusing on trying to get my extracurricular started because the year has just started and I've been trying to study and getting my grades up this year. 
What kind of extracurricular activities do you do? Oh, I've been doing speech and debate and battle of the books, and soon Science Olympiad is going to get started, and I'm going to be doing that. And in addition, after school, I also have a Jewish youth program that I do, and I help with the kids in Sunday school at Temple. I'm basically like a teacher's assistant. And what is Battle of the Books? Battle of the Books is a school club that is focused on a competition with a list of books that we get every year, and we compete on our knowledge of the books. What kind of books? Well, this year there are 15 on the list, and I just started reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. And the list is mostly fiction, but there is some nonfiction in there. And what is the Science Olympiad? Science Olympiad is a school club that is also geared to preparing towards a competition, but it's for a state science competition where we compete in partners on different science events. What do you hope to do after high school? After high school, I really hope to get a degree in chemistry because it's what I'm really passionate about, and then probably go to medical school to focus on people and the brain, which I'm also really interested in, and I want to be a neurologist. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a new English speaker. I've been here for six years, so it's kind of surreal to talk to kids who are also learning English. What is your first language? My first language is Hebrew. I'm from Israel. How did you end up here? Well, my dad got a transfer from work, and we all thought it would be a really good experience, and I have loved it so far, and so has my whole family. So, is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Well, first of all, hi, and I guess some really good piece of advice is really go after what you love and work towards doing what you're passionate about. What have you been doing this week? Different week than usual. Last Friday, my school orchestra went to Atlanta, Georgia, where we went to perform in a competition, and we went everywhere in Atlanta after that. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe and even got to listen to the Atlanta Symphony. It was like a two and a half hour performance, but they were unbelievable. It was great. The next day, we attended the actual competition and were ranked as being superior, which is the best ranking, of course. And after that, we went to Six Flags, the amusement park, for about nine hours and rode just about every ride there. And then the next day, we went to the Georgia Aquarium and got to see all sorts of sea life that was really cool from all over the world. And after that, we went to the world of Coca-Cola and got to taste sodas from every continent. It was very neat. Following that day, we got back on the bus and rode five hours all the way home watching Jack Black movies. Who is Jack Black? Oh, he's a real goofy actor. The bus ride was kind of long because of Atlanta's traffic, so it felt good to be back in my little old hometown. What instrument do you play? Well, my main instrument is the piano, but I also play the bass guitar and the upright bass, which is what I play in the school orchestra. What do you do on an ordinary day? On an ordinary school day, I try to wake up at 6 o'clock every morning and get some extra piano practice before going to what we call zero period at school. Most students start at first period, but zero period is like an extra class you can take before that. I take jazz ensemble. I get home after school at around 4.30 and then I do homework, eat dinner, practice instruments or maybe go to church for a music rehearsal, and I usually try to go to bed by 11. Is there anything you would like to say to kids in other countries? Um, let's see. I would probably like to give the advice to make sure to cherish your youthful years. I do. What have you been doing this week? Well, this week I started with having a day off on Monday, but I've been doing a lot of calculus homework the entire week. I was lucky enough to go to a conference today on women's philanthropy and I was so excited to meet a lot of people who were involved in supporting many philanthropies which deal with feeding the hungry in my area. Why did you get to go to the conference? I got to go to the conference because I am on the service council at my school, and I was one of the ten in the county who was invited. I was able to meet Barbara Bush's granddaughter, and she was speaking about her charity that she has had for about ten years, which is called Feed, which basically feeds hungry children in America as well as around the world. What does the Service Council do? What the Service Council does is try to get my school united 
in doing service projects or raising money for local food banks. We also put together Christmas care packages for abused as well as neglected children. What did you do for the Labor Day holiday? For the Labor Day holiday, I was doing a lot of studying to get ready for my calculus and Spanish class. But we also had a barbecue for dinner, and we ate as a family, which is something we always do on holidays and long weekends. Can you tell me a little bit about your family? My parents came to America from India, and they met in college. My grandmother is Portuguese, and I am very close to her. I also have a younger sister named Capri, and she is 15 years old. Does your family have any special traditions? Yes, we have lots of special traditions, and they're really all important to me. I grew up cooking with my grandmother and my mother, so baking cookies for Christmas is a huge tradition. We love Italian food, grilled chicken, and salads. What do you want to do after high school? I would love to go to college and pursue my passions for Spanish, history, and business. Do you have an idea of a career you'd like to follow? I would love to somehow bring all of these passions together by doing a type of corporate job, but I'm not really quite sure yet. Is there anything that you would like to say to kids in other countries? I'm so excited to be able to talk to you guys and share part of my culture with you guys. I hope one day to travel to your countries and to learn a little bit more about how small the world really is.